is the tales of our pal Bigly. Ireland is the world he loves so well. The wrinkles out of spots and are downright stickly. How he does that, only he can tell. Bigly, Bernie, Molly, and Dan and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara or Ralu, lots of excitement for everyone. Curiosity's in a hurry, leaving no time to stop and think. The line between wild and crazy gets blurry. Jingers! The inventors of Piggly Winks. Something in the way his eyes start blazing tells us he's on to a brand new plan. His lips curl up, it's downright amazing. Looking for mischief, well, he's your man. Piggly, Fernie, Molly, and Dan, and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara, Aralu, lots of excitement for everyone. Jingers! go to bed just to wake up early. To get in trouble or on the brink The line between wild and crazy gets blurry Jiggers. The adventures of Piggly Wings Boys, boys, where are you? It's a perfect kite-flying day, if ever I saw one. I'm coming, Grandpa. Well, would you look at that masterpiece? Beauty should fly higher than a supersonic transport jet. Thanks. I made it myself. So where's that brother of yours got to show? He's still inside, building that volcano project for school. Jakers, he's been working on that project for three days now, without a rest. It's time he'd take a break and come and fly with us. Grandpa, do you know where the baking soda is? I need it for my volcano. I do. Great. And one of these days I'll let you know where it is. Huh? But right now the breeze is blowing and this kite is just itching for a test run. <laughs> But my volcano! We'll still be here waiting for you when we're done. I promise. But... Well, Grandpa, I never heard a grown-up say anything like that before. <laughs> All work and no play is no way to spend a lovely day. I learned that lesson a long time ago. It's a lesson I had to teach me own dad. Really? What happened? What'd you do? As I recall, it was a day not unlike today. I called it perfect picnic weather. Jakers! What a gorgeous morning! A perfect family picnic day if I ever saw one. Right, Mammy? Right you are, little man. Oh, there'll be no picnic today, son. I have a list of chores a length of me arm that have to be done today. But, Dad, it's Saturday. Huh? Uh, so it is. I want a picnic with you, Piggy. Uh, that's no good, Molly. It's not the same without the whole family. <sighs> I'm sorry, Piggly, but the work has to be done. That's just part of being a farmer, you know. Jakers, I know what we can do. We? Oh, I like the sound of that. Uh, we can work together, you and I, Dad, really hard, all morning, and get those chores done in time for a fine picnic lunch. <sighs> I don't know about that, Piggly. Well, if the boy wants to help, you should let him help, Patrick. Besides, I can't let you spend your whole Saturday working, Dad. It's just not right. <sighs> well, all right then. You can help me, Piggly. Oh, that's great, Dad. And Molly, you can walk with me to the train station to pick up our new batch of chicks. Will we be back in time for the picnic, Mammy? As long as you don't dilly-dally, Pet. Oh, I won't. Wait, I forgot my hat. Dilly dally, dilly dally, oh. Now remember, Piggly, this is serious work we need to get done today. There'll be no playing around. You understand that now? Yes, sir. There will be no playing around. Until the picnic, that is. <sighs> Come on, Dad. We've got work to do. There'll be no dilly dallying. And so me dad and I set to work painting the milk cart. As focused and determined as, as, as Sean with a new video game. Wow, that's pretty determined, Grandpa. That's for sure. Oh, we're painting up the cart. We're painting it all red. 
And when we're finished working, a picnic will be had. Piggly! Yes, Dad? A little less singing and a little more painting, please. Yes, sir! Someday, little bar, you will be in charge of all this. Ah. I've been watching you, kid. You got it. Do you know what it is? It is courage, honesty, and a weird ability to walk on your hind legs so you're taller than the other guys. Hurry along now, Molly. The train will be arriving soon. There should be about a dozen new chicks for us and... Uh, Molly? Molly, where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Look what I found, Mammy. Oh, well, would you look at that. I thought all the berries were gone for the season. Oh, I'll get some more. Mr. Goat? Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Goat, but I found them first. You'll have to look somewhere else for your own berries. Oh. Mm. Mm. Molly, these are the sweetest berries I've ever tasted. Mammy, let's take some to Miss Nanny. Well, that's a lovely thought, Molly, but we do have to... Please, Mammy. Oh, I suppose we could stop by for a bit. Great! Let's hurry. No dilly dallying, no. <laughs> la 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 la. Higley, how you coming along over there? Just great, Dad. Almost done then, are we? What? Oh, Piggly, what is this? Isn't it great, Dad? They're hot rod flames. I saw it once in a comic book. This is not a hot rod, Piggly. It, it's a milk cart. Now, why would we be needing flames on a milk cart? Well, it makes it look like it's going really fast. Doesn't it look fast, Dad? Well, yes, I suppose it does. Just wait until it's finished. It'll look twice as fast. Son, we do not have time to be doing this kind of fancy painting. There's still a lot more work that needs to be done. I know. Now, please, just paint it red and be done with it. I will be working in the barn. Come and join me when you're finished. Yes, sir. <sighs> okay, first lesson. How to look like you are the boss. First, you cross your front legs like this. Then you stick your right foot out and your left foot in and you turn your head around and you end up with... Bunch of wise guy sheep doing the hokey pokey. Uh, will the chicks be here soon, Mammy? Any minute now, pet. I think Miss Nanny liked the berries, Mammy. Oh, I think she liked them very much, Molly. <laughs> you know, Molly. You have a wonderful way of finding things that no one else seems to notice. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Goodness gracious me, the train is coming. The chicks are here! The chicks are here! While my mother and Molly were enjoying their little business trip into town, my father was busy bringing hay into the barn. Just brought in the last bale when I rushed in to help. My timing as flawless as ever. Dad, I finished painting the cart. Would you like me to help you bring in the hay? That job is done, Piggly. 
That's great. Let's go pack for the picnic then. Uh, uh, Piggly. That job is finished. But I've got another job for you. Oh, okay. We need to get the barn ready for the chicks when they arrive with your mother and sister. I can do that. No problem at all. Uh, what do I need to do? I'd like you to form those hay bales into a pen to hold the chicks. This'll be the best chicken pen you've ever seen in your life. Just something simple to keep the little things from running all over the place. I'll be right back to hang up the heat lamp. Okay, Dad. You can count on me, sir. Now remember, little bar, as the boss of the flock, you've got to be firm but fair. Firm but fair. Say it after me. Firm but fair. <laughs> Good. I didn't understand a word of it. At least you're trying. Now remember, it's not easy getting this flock to do what you want them to do. Especially Bernie. He never cooperates. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Son, I hope that pen is ready for the... The pen is ready, Dad! Piggly! Piggly, what is this? It's a castle. A chicken castle. It's got windows for the archers and, and turrets for the lookouts. <laughs> Over here's the courtyard and... Piggly, you did all of this? Mm-hmm. All I needed was a simple pen to keep the chicks from scattering everywhere. Oh, oh, they won't be doing any scattering. They can't get out unless I let the drawbridge down. <laughs> and me lookouts will sound the alarm if they try to escape. <laughs> Hello there! Piggly, I realize that you're trying to help, but there's too much left to be done for you to be wasting time building old hay castles. But I was... I... I was... I was just trying to make it more fun. Um, but I'll take it down if you want me to. No, uh, uh, don't do that. You just need to... Yes? <sighs> Never mind. Come on. I have another job for you to get started on. Great. I'm ready and willing, Dad. All right. I need you to take all the junk out of the old shed and organize it into piles. Right you are, Dad. Now, that way we can see what we have, eh, what we want to keep, and what we want to throw away. You can count on me! Ay, what an imagination that boy has. It is a mighty fine castle. Molly, are the chicks all right then? They're great, Mammy. I think they like being out of that box now. You can lead them into the barn, Molly. Right into their brand new home. <sighs> there. This night should keep the new chicks nice and warm. Mammy, look! Quite a home you've made for the chickens, dear. 
Oh, it's not my work, Ellie. Your son came up with this creation. Oh, did he indeed? Oh, it looks just like the sandcastle you made for me. <laughs> the first time we went to Blarney Cove. Oh, oh, that was a fine thing, wasn't it? <sighs> but I didn't ask Piggly to make a castle. I only wanted a simple pen. Well, the chicks seem to love it, dear. <laughs> Still, I wish Piggly had just done what I told him to do. Well, it's important to do chores all right, but sometimes it's just as important to take time out to have a little fun. Oh, hello, chicks. Oh, oh this is a grand place you have here. <sighs> I wonder how Piggly is doing cleaning out that shed. Hey, kid, come here. We need to talk. Sheep to lamb. Listen, I made a mistake. A cute little guy like you shouldn't be doing this. I'm robbing you of your lambhood. You should be out there playing. Now go, play. And don't come back until I retire. <sighs> so much to be done. I hope Piggly has that shed spick and span. Stop where you are, varmint! Piggly? Are you all right? Don't you worry, none, Farmer Winks. I'm about to toss this cattle rustling varmint into jail and throw away the key. Piggly, what are you doing? You're supposed to be cleaning out the shed, boy. I, I did clean it out, Dad. I've gathered all the boards here in the town jail. The cattle rustling days are over, gentlemen. <sighs> over here, I've set in our supplies for the winter. It's really just all the old paint cans, you know. Look out, Dad! The wild horses have broken free! Come on, Lightning! We've got to keep the horses from breaking free! <sighs> well... <laughs> I reckon you did do a good job here after all, cowboy piggly. Much obliged, Dad. Everything is organized. All we have to do now is put it back in the shed. That old tire does not belong there, piggly. Uh... That? Uh, it was so different from everything else. I didn't know where to put it, Dad. Well, I'll just have to show you then, won't I? Well, now, I was totally mystified by all this. Here was my dad with an old tire, carrying it like it was the most valuable thing we owned. I'd never seen my dad quite so determined to get somewhere. No idea where. Ah, we're almost there, son. Almost where, Dad? Jakers, would you look at that? Follow me, Piggy. Ah, home again, my friend. Jacobs. It's a secret place. Son. Dad, this is fantastic! Oh, yes, it is fantastic, Piggly. Dad, there's some words on this. P. W. Oh, poor Rinks! That's me, all right. And this noggin carved here is only Mr. Harnsby himself. Oh, that's right. You and Mr. Harnsby were friends when you were young lads. Mm hmm. Noggin and I found this place. We came here almost every day after school, and every Saturday. Well, how come you never showed me this place before, Dad? Uh, I don't know, Piggly. I guess I was too busy being a grown-up to remember it. But it hasn't changed one little bit. I'm glad of that. It's perfect, just the way it is. Well, now, 
I don't know about that. It seems to me there are still a few things missing. Like what? Who? Not what? Who? Now, Piggly, you know the rules about secret places like this. You can never tell anyone else about it. I won't tell Soul Dad. I promise. Um, except Dan and Fanny. Of course. That's the other rule about secret places. Best friends are always allowed. Now, how about getting off the swing and letting your old man have a crack at it, huh? <laughs> I'll push you to the moon, Dad. Okay then, ready for takeoff! <laughs> <laughs> Dad, can we come back here again tomorrow? Oh, I don't think so, Piggly. <laughs> At least not until after we paint those flames back on the side of the milk cart. <laughs> A finer day has rarely been seen, boys. I'll not soon forget it. Grandpa? Did you and your dad ever put all that stuff back in the shed? Of course, that mess was still there waiting for us when we got back home. Just like my volcano will still be waiting for me. Right. So let's go flying. Maybe we should ask Mom to go with us, Sean. She's been working hard all morning, too. That's a grand idea, Seamus. Your mother's a fantastic kite flyer. Mom! Oh, yes, in fact. The Space Administration once called to ask her about helping them launch a rocket to Mars, but she was too busy. Couldn't take the time off, so she said. Sure, Grandpa. Whatever you say.